going on? It's your girl, Just T, y'all. Hope everybody is doing awesome on today. So today, what we're going to do, you guys, we are going to make some buffalo chips. Some potato chips. Homemade. That's right. Buffalo chips. So in order to get that going, guys, you're going to need some type of potato, of course. I have some rusted potatoes. And I peeled mine. I'm not really big. You know, with the skin left on and everything. Some people are. So you can leave the skin on after, you know, wash it, scrub it and everything real good. Get all the little dirt and stuff off of it. And I just peeled mine. I peeled them. And I have them in a bowl of cold, cold, cold water. And for seasonings, we're going to use some black pepper. We're also going to use some seasoned salt. Also, we are going to use some garlic powder. And we're also going to use some sugar. And in this bowl, I have a tablespoon of sugar. And I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do with this sugar. I'm going to actually use more than a tablespoon. But for right now, this is what I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with this sugar. So I'm going to get everything together so we can get those sliced up into some potato chips. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Come on. Walk with me, y'all. Okay, everybody. So we're back. And I'm going to try and show you how to cut these potatoes. I'm actually going to use a mandolin. This is what I'm going to use to cut them with. I'm going to use this to cut mine. And you see I have that setting really, really thin. I think you guys can see it up in here. This is really sharp. But if you guys don't have one of these, they're really, really helpful in the kitchen. Especially when you're making french fries and you want them all to be uniformed and everything. This right here, Walmart, $24. Can't beat it. I like it because it's stainless steel and it's dishwashable. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys how to cut it up just in case you don't have a mandolin, right? But you want them thin. You want them thin. Really thin. That's how you want them to come out when you're cutting them. And like I said, the mandolin to me comes in very, very handy. Because they're all going to be the same size and they're all going to be full. Like I said, you want to get them thin. Really thin, guys. So, I'm about to get my mandolin, and I'm about to go ahead and make it do what it do. And then working with the mandolin, just put your potato in here and just hold it. Just got to be careful because these things are sharp. And I like this one because it has a little stand on it. And just hold it. Just slice it. Push down on your little handle thing so to move your potato down. They should be like really thin, guys. I want them to be really, really thin. So I'm just going to get the rest of mine all sliced up like that. And then I'll come back and show you what we're going to do with that water. Because we're going to add some something in there, all right? All right, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. So we're back. And I went ahead and I finished cutting up my potatoes for my potato chips, y'all. Those are going to be nice. So this is the first water. I'm just going to pour this water out. I want the water to be nice and cold as well. I want it to be nice and cold. I'm just going to pour that out. And then we're going to add more water back in there. I'm trying to get this in real quick so I can show you guys. We're going to add some sugar in here. You want enough water to cover up your potatoes. You guys can still see this. So like I said, you want enough water to cover those potatoes up. Look at those are going to be nice, guys. Those are going to come out really nice. Some sugar. Just white granulated sugar. We're going to add two tablespoons of sugar into this cold water with these. These are going to help keep those potatoes. They're going to be nice and, oh, they're going to be really, really crispy. That sugar in there just does something. And we're going to let this sit in the refrigerator. I usually let it sit for about a half an hour. Like 20, you know, at least give it like 20 minutes of sitting in that sugar water. Everybody, welcome back. And so those potatoes had sat in that sugar water for a half an hour. And now I drained the water out of them, that cold water, because you want to make sure the water stays cold. And I drained the water out. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put them down. If you have a kitchen towel, you know those kitchen towels, um then you can use that. But I'm not using my kitchen towels <laughs> to dry off no potatoes. 
So I'm just gonna put them on some paper towel, like so. Spread them out on some paper towel because you want them to be dry when you put these in that oil. You don't want to put any um, potatoes in oil that have that still has water on them because Lord have mercy, that will not be good for anybody. And ain't nobody got time to get burnt. Uh -uh, right? So I'm just gonna spread these all out because you want to make sure all the water is off of them. So you want to dry them. And I'm just gonna spread out a couple and I'm gonna do them off camera, but I'm gonna show you guys how to just pat them with another paper towel on top and just make sure that they're dry. So I have another paper towel back here, but you wanna just press down, get all the water off of those. Press down on them, they should be really dry. Right. So in this bowl right here, I have one tablespoon of just granulated white sugar. All right, one tablespoon full. And so to that, we're gonna add some other seasonings. seasonings. We're gonna also add one, a half of a teaspoon, it's a tablespoon. We need a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna add that into this bowl. I hope you guys can see this. Add that in there. I'm gonna add a half of a teaspoon of seasoned salt. Add that in there. And we're gonna add a half of a teaspoon of black pepper as well. Add that in there. And then you're just gonna mix it up. You wanna mix it all up. Cause that's gonna be our seasoning that's gonna go on these once they get um, done cooking. All right guys, so we're back and those potato chips are dry. I dried those off, you remember with that paper towel. Got my oil nice and hot, it's hot. And so we wanna drop these in here. I'm gonna drop them in a couple at a time and be careful, you know, like I said, if you still have some water on them, it's gonna pop up. The oil is gonna pop up and these will not take long at all. So you wanna make sure that you have yourself, a, you know, a, a pan or something, a rack, something to put these on when you take them out, all right? So we gotta cook these up. Now you're gonna have to probably cook them in batches, of course. You don't wanna put too many of them in at one time. And I have my little pan right here that I'm gonna put those on. So we're just gonna get those all nice and brown and crispy. I think kids, you guys, kids will love these. What kids don't wanna make no homemade potato chips? You got some potatoes? Come on, boo, let's make some potato chips. You can add all kind of stuff to these. You know, some barbecue flavor, you know, like some seasoned salt, whatever, you can add whatever. You know what would be good on these? Mm, I'm going to have to try that myself too. But you know that powdered ranch, the powdered ranch. I like the powdered ranch. Now, it's funny because I don't like the bottle ranch, but I do like the powder. I like to cook with it. That would be good sprinkled on these French, on these French fries, on these potato chips. That would be really good because I have had them on French fries. I think that's why I said French fries. So I'm just going to let these cook. Until they get brown and crispy, you're going to know they're going to start curling up, turning brown. So when these are almost done, guys, I'm going to come back and I'll show you guys. All right, guys, so we're back and it's been about two minutes now and these are about to be coming out. As you can see, they're starting to get nice and brown. And so now the second batch, when I add them in, it's going to take no time for those to cook because that oil is steady heating, getting hotter. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to be taking these out shortly, because they're almost there. Almost there. I love these doggone potato chips. I do. Because you can do so much stuff with them and shake them up with some hot sauce. Like, oh my gosh, you can do so much, so much with them. Yeah, see they're getting brown? You can see them. Look at that get them brown because that's the way they're going to stay nice and crispy too. I actually like mine like that but when I leave them you know kind of light colored I notice that they're not as crispy so you want to make sure that you get them brown. That way they're going to stay crispy and crunchy and so we're going to be getting ready to take these out shortly. Those babies is about ready them to be like that. That way they're going to they're going to stay crunchy for you. I'm going to go ahead and get these on out onto this wired rack I have over here. 
and then we're going to get those other ones right on in here which are not going to take as long they may only take them in batches That's all. Come on, T. Go ahead with your bad self, girl. Go ahead. Hear that crunch? Potato chips? Yes, ma'am. Where they do that at? At just T's house. Alright, so once these are done, guys, I'm going to bring y'all back when I get all of these all cooked up, alright? Alright, guys. Like, OMG. Look at this. See that? Get that seasoning on those. And they're crunchy. Oh my gosh, y'all. What kids ain't gonna wanna make those or shoot? What adult ain't gonna wanna make them? Everybody loves potato chips. And why not make your own the way you want them? Put whatever seasonings that you wanna put on them. You feel me? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and make yourself some of those. I promise you, you're gonna enjoy them. I promise you, you will. All right, guys, we back. <laughs> my husband trying to attack them already. Um, let me, can I show them to them first, babe? <laughs> but this is how they look, guys. This is those potato chips what they look like nice and crunchy so bae you can come and get yourself I one let them that. know how they taste you gotta hear that crunch bae here look at you i'll take that one and that one too really? i'll take all over how they taste though <laughs> you're so silly he is so silly y'all but these are good they taste good you had crunch crunchy you want to cook them though they're nice and brown. Because like I said, if you cook them, and to me, they're lighter than that, you're not going to get that crunch that they have. But, I hope, dang, those are good. Those are good. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Mm -mm, stay back. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Cover them up. You're trying to take them. But I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> this video once again. I appreciate y'all, all of you, for watching. Babe, would you stop it for a minute? <laughs> OMG. Gosh, goodness. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. Forever stay blessed, y'all. It's just tea.